Linux boot process. The beginning of the boot process varies depending on the hardware platform being used. However, once the kernel is found and loaded by the bootloader, the default boot process is identical across all architectures. While we switch on the Linux system, it will perform following boot process. System start and start the kernel, init rd and the boot process called init, then start the run level and we have user login. BIOS checks the system and launches the file first stage bootloader on MBR of the primary hard disk. The BIOS most of the cases, the order of the drive search by the kernel into memory, which in turn loads any necessary modules and mounts the partition regularly. The init command runs etc init tab script and read folder configuration file determines the starting down level. If you are talking about MPR, the primary bootloader resides in MPR. The 512 byte image both is having the program code and small partition table. In this first 446 bytes are primary bootloader which contains both executable code and error message text. And next 64 bytes are partition table which contains a record for each four partitions. The MPR ends with the two bytes that define as a magic number. The magic number serves a validation check for the MPR. But there are two types of bootloader in 86 PC environment. Yes, these are Lilo and Grub. The difference between Lilo and Grub, Lilo has no interactive command interface whereas Grub does. And Lilo does not support booting from the network, whereas Grub does. Uh, you can see the sample Grub config file. And if you have multiple kernel installed in your system, you can choose which one to be executed. The Grub displays splash screen wait for a few seconds. If you don't enter anything, it loads default kernel as specified in the Grub configuration file. And while booting, if you want to edit splash screen, press E at the splash screen and press C to go to grab prompt where we can execute command to the boot. You can enter the single node more directly after turning on the power on the system. At booting, there are boot up messages we can find out, find, find out from the log files, var log D message. The D message, the main purpose of D message is to display kernel message, boot messages, 